Welcome to Fabric Monday. Today we'll talk about uh, data factory pipelines in Microsoft Fabric. More specifically, let's talk about how to edit the JSONs of these pipelines, how to manage and edit the JSONs. Let's take a look on Power BI. Here I have a workspace with some pipelines. Let's take a look on this pipeline. Pipeline copy. Opening the pipeline. The pipeline uses a JSON format. What is behind the pipeline is basically JSON. This immediately gave us any ideas. For example, we could edit the JSON directly. This could save us some time, avoiding us to have to configure every action one by one, every activity one by one. We could go directly to JSON and edit the JSON. In some situations, this would be absolutely great. However, we immediately get disappointed when we see that we can't edit the JSON. There is a button called View JSON which allow us to view the JSON, but we can't edit it. So view JSON, but this is not editable. So we can directly edit the JSON of the pipeline. The point is, there is a hidden secret on these pipelines. What's the hidden secret? We can open the pipeline, and we immediately include a new parameter on the URL. The parameter I'm including is feature.enableJSONEdit equal 1. This is not the first parameter, there was a previous parameter called experience. We use this symbol to join the parameters. If this were the first parameter, I would need to use the question mark for the first parameter. So, Feature.enable JSON edit 1. I add this parameter to the URL. Let's take a look on the view menu and here is the magic happening. Now the button is not a view JSON button anymore, it's an edit JSON code button. Now I can open the edit JSON code and make any JSON edition as I would like. I'm capable to edit the JSON at any moment. We can use this in many different ways to make the edition of a pipeline faster. Copy pieces of a pipeline to another pipeline and so on. So there are many ways to use this great hidden feature, which is the Enable JSON Edit. I hope you like this great new feature. Thank you very much for watching and see you next week.